What's going on everybody and welcome to the channel. Now the blogs didn't waste any time notifying us that Jay-Z not only made the Hall of Fame recently, but they also let us know about his Instagram page where he only followed his wife, acquired a huge following literally like overnight and then turned around and shut the page down. But it seems as though Instagram isn't the only thing that Hove may have to delete. Because according to hiphopnewsdx.com, they wrote and published an article today stating that the FBI has warned Jay-Z of a possible hack to his email account and that it may be in his best interest to basically delete everything. Now, according to this article, they state that the source initially spoke to Complex, all right? And Complex was told this today, stating that there will be, quote unquote, an imminent attack on Jay-Z's email accounts and that the feds told him that he needs to erase everything. Now, has it been confirmed that Jay-Z complied with this urge from the feds? That's going to be a no. However, according to hotnewhiphop.com, they claim that the feds are adamant that someone has Jay-Z's information. Now, I'm not sure if this has anything to probably do with his recent litigation because I didn't even know that Jay-Z was even in court, but this warning from the FBI comes on the heels of Jay-Z's recent testimony in Manhattan Supreme Court where he pretty much was in litigation with Parlux Fragrances over a contract over some cologne back in 2013. Now get this, Parlux Fragrance is suing Jay-Z or was suing Jay-Z for breaching the contract that they had to basically promote and market his cologne called Gold back in 2013. Jay-Z reportedly hired an ex-police officer to investigate Parlux's CEO, Donald Loftus. And according to Jay-Z, he always had problems with the quality of the lazy work that was coming out of Parlux. And he also stated that Parlux's lead attorney, Anthony Viola, was constantly playing lawyer tricks during his cross examinations. Now this suit filed from Parlux, basically against Jay-Z, stated that he should be ordered to pay $68 million for dropping his end of the bargain. And Jay-Z went ahead and countersued and claimed that Parlux had owed him $2.7 million worth of royalties. And yes, he did testify. Now, Pollux attorney, Anthony Viola, questioned Jay-Z and asked him about this contract. And Viola stated that Pollux was set to make almost $70 million in royalties from this deal with Jay-Z. Now get this, during the questioning, Jay-Z admitted to Viola and the court that he did not, and I repeat, did not read the contract. I don't know what the hell is up with these billionaire rappers not reading contracts or reading. This makes me think of Kanye West's Drink Champs interview where he told Nori reading wasn't his forte. But, but anyway, y'all. Viola asked Jay-Z, at the time you signed this contract, you did not know you personally would have obligations separate and distinct of your company. Jay-Z responded, I'm not a lawyer. All I can say is I have creative control over what I do with myself and my body. No, I did not read the contract. And not only did he sign it without reading it, Jay-Z admitted that he signed this contract twice without reading. Now today the jury came to the decision that Jay-Z should not pay the company anything and the judgment went somewhat I guess in his favor. And according to the jury, neither side should be paying anything. It took them almost about two hours to deliver the verdict and the judge stated today that you have failed to prove your case. They have failed to prove their case. That is the outcome. Now we can't confirm that the FBI hack has anything to do with this litigation, but if someone does have Hove's emails, this could be a major problem. What we do know is a lot of things be taking place behind the scenes because news just broke minutes ago that Rock Nation artist Casanova two times has been charged with attempted murder. Now we all know that Casanova was arrested in December of 2020 and charged with conspiracy to commit racketeering, conspiracy to distribute controlled substances, in furtherance of drug trafficking crime. 
But unfortunately, a grand jury has returned with a new superseding indictment accusing the rapper of more crimes and count 24 has been upgraded to attempted murder and assault with a deadly weapon. And this is coming out of allhiphop.com. Yikes. Seems like Hov got 99 problems right about now and we don't know who or where this hack of his information is coming from, but it seems as though we just have to stay tuned to find out what happens next. And that's all I got for you guys on this one. Major shout out to you for making it all the way to the end. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the notification bell for all new streams and all new pre-recorded content. I love y'all. Y'all take care and y'all be well. Peace.